All right, this is a test of the LXD 650 mead mount that I'm getting ready to put up on cloudy nights. I'm going to switch it on. You can see the little current meters going. And the display is coming on. And so I'll go ahead and hit mode. Local time is just about eight minutes to seven. Timer, um, let me see here. Date is the 30th of April. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back to mode. And I've got the site set up for local site here. I'm gonna go ahead and align it. And you're supposed to set RA to zero and deck to 90. So there's deck, there's RA, press enter. And it says to center Polaris, and when you use this mount, you actually use the azimuth adjustment knobs there at the bottom of the mount and the little uh, tilt lock, and then there's a knob at the back to actually adjust the altitude to center Polaris up. So I'm just going to pretend like it, I did that because it's the middle of the day. Press enter. And it's going to slew around to find an alignment star. Okay. And it says to center Alphard, which, which is, uh, that's about where it ought to be this time of day. I'm just going to pretend like it did press enter. And then tell it to go to an M object. So M44 ought to be here fairly close. I'm going to hit M44, enter, go to. All right, and I'm also going to swing it around here, see if it'll hit M42. I've got a solar filter on it, but it's not going to be that close to the sun here. And so M42, go to. Make sure that it swaps the sides of the mount here properly to do this. So it properly executed a uh, move from the Eastern Hemisphere to the Western Hemisphere and has pointed just about where M42 ought to be if you could see it in daylight here just before 7 o'clock on April 30th. So there you go. The 650 operates the way it's supposed to. I'll try it in the dark here again because I haven't used it in the dark for a while, but I was, uh, was using it earlier to... Uh, Try to find some prominences on the sun. That's why this thing's got a solar filter on it right at the moment.